Well, what's up, guys? So, I'm going to go over the event one last time now that I've got more information. So, basically, the start date could possibly be two... It, it could be... From now, it could be one to two weeks from now or last week or whatever, which kind of adds up to about the 8th or 9th of August, which is when uh, Fort Epic comes back. So, it could start before then. Though, the best time... The best time would be to... The best time for this event to start would be either the start of August, possibly the 8th of August, 8th or 9th, before August, and that's it. If you start about the mid, or def, if you definitely start at the en end of August, with a seven-week... This is going to be a seven-week long event. With a seven-week long event, you... You will pour that into next season, and I don't think they can do that much. So, and at that point, you should have just saved it for next season, which would have made us wait even longer. But, another thing is that you can earn free rewards in these seven weeks. So, uh, I think once per week, there will be like either certain challenges, or there will be one challenge per week that's kind of big or something. Maybe, hopefully it won't be too hard. Uh, one of the challenges either being that you can earn 10 or 20 levels, or you have to gain 10 or 20 levels, which I know will probably be hard for some people that are like level 200 right now, or that have already got all the battle pass, or something like that. But hopefully it gives you 20 or 10 levels, because then that will help you people that are trying to do the refer a friend and get levels for that. You should be on that part by now if you've actually been playing but other than that yeah the free rewards that i think you will probably be able to earn is probably like the saiyan pod maybe a goku wrap um possibly the dra maybe each time you unlock a dragon ball you get that star for a dragon ball bank bling so if you complete the first star dragon ball and you get the dra first the one star ball first then you get that the Dragon Ball Batwing, which can select into seven different styles, which I think should be for free. And each time you collect another Dragon Ball, then you get that style. So if you collect a second one, you can change your Batwing that only shows the one star into two star, and so on and so forth. Because there's up to seven, so I'm not going to explain that seven times. Um, though I could, but... um. Anyways, you can go check out my last video about the skins and the confirmation and, all, and the back blings and stuff like that. Uh, we will be getting free rewards, like I said, within the seven weeks. We'll probably be getting XP. Um, like I said, maybe a, the free Saiyan glider. Uh, Goku and Vegeta will have transformation, so I don't know if that might be a challenge to unlock that. Or maybe it'll only be a challenge for those who get the skins. Though it probably wouldn't be free challenges if you don't, if you can't get those skins. So I doubt that will be challenges. Though for the F Goku skins, or the Goku and Vegeta skin, there may be when you buy the ch uh, uh, skins, you may have to do a challenge to unlock Super Saiyan for the built-in email. Though they've never done that really with any pay skins, I don't think to unlock the emote, like, specifically that are, uh, item shop skins. I know they have, like, challenges to upgrade the skin, but I don't think they've ever done, like, the emote for the skin. So, I think that we may get challenges for the skins when you buy them, maybe. Um, Really, they could probably make a second style for Beerus, which is Hakai Aura. Just put that around him. I know they could probably do that. Um, I'm hoping I seen in the comments that um, that uh, Super Saiyan is like old and it's so stale. Yeah, I think it kind of is, but the, it's better than not getting any transformation at all. First of all, but second of all, yes, they could add more transformations and more styles. So hopefully they do that. And Super Saiyan Blue is the big transformation right now. So I don't know why they aren't doing that. Or maybe they are doing it and we just don't know. Because the skins won't be... they. If they get leaked, then they're going to probably... Inst they, uh, 
some scans get leaked early and it can take up to two or three weeks before we actually see them in the item shop even though we've literally just seen gameplay of the skin but nobody has the skin except whoever leaked the footage of that skin like the green goblin for instance um so if they do leak the skins early say any any day now then um then we should see it within two to three weeks or even a week but like i said the challenges will start very soon within one to two weeks from now which like i said date could be the 9th the 16th and then or towards the end of august is when this stuff could start but like i said also said they should start this early because it's a seven week long event so it gives us so basically you get the summer stuff first and it's fits in the end probably it's not going to end for another week but i think um i think they will probably just as as soon as the summer event stuff ends they may end it early there's two things they may do they may end it the summer event early or as soon as the summer event ends they will instantly put it put the dragon ball events out which would be great because, I mean, you go from one thing to another. You go, you've you already earned some free rewards. Now you're just starting the next day earning even more free rewards of something that is great. So, anyways. Um, yeah, this is just, I'm just talking about the start date and what's probably going to happen. So, uh, other than that, guys, there's not much more to say except... Um, Hopefully, y'all will get the free rewards. Hopefully, they'll give a lot of stuff, XP. Uh, hopefully, the skins will come out fast. I, I, I don't know what to say about that. Um, I know they're not going to come out instantly. So, don't expect the skins as soon as the events start. Don't, don't expect the skins to come out instantly. Yes, they will come out during the events. Or during the event. But, they're not going to come out as soon as it starts. I know the event starts soon, but um, they're not going to come out instantly. It'll take a little while because I'm sure they're still trying to work on the transformation and possibly back blings and gliders and all that. But we only know about the Saiyan pod, which means it'll either be free or it will be with the Vegeta skin. So, or bundle or whatever. So I think the bundles will be Goku and Beerus as one bundle and then Vegeta and Bulma as one bundle. And then their stuffs will come with like a pickaxe and glider bundle as well unless the um, Saiyan pod is free. Now I think they should probably put Shinron as a glider for free to earn in game not having to go to the website or whatever like uh, the Naruto stuff. But I think all this event stuff will probably in game kind of just like the summer event you won't have to sign up or do a nintendo nintendo or whatever um stuff okay so last thing here's the big thing if you made it this far uh say kamehameha in the comments or the this is over freezer or now i'm really no i don't see that okay so either say kamehameha or this is over freezer um but there will be a mythic more than likely a mythic kamehameha which i a lot of people again they say it wrong on youtube so i'm saying it right but a kamehameha is either going to be a free emote for or an emote with goku or it's going to be a mythic and it is probably going to break the game at first it's probably as soon as it comes out it's probably going to be taken out instantly just to get fixed up but then it'll come right back kind of like the infinite web shooters we had that and for just a second i believe and then they took it right out and it took them a little bit of time before they could put a certain like a web shooters with a certain amount of sh shots so that's the big thing that y'all need to be prepared for. A new mythic, a new Dragon Ball mythic, uh, is rumored. So I think that will come out during the event. That will only be around for the event. And I doubt it will go to creative since it's a mythic. And it's not a mythic gun like Sloan's mythic or something. 
but uh, not every weapon is in creative. A lot of mythics are not, like superhero mythics and stuff. So just just don't get your hopes up for it being put in creative or anything. Uh, it might just be a blast. It may can shoot you up into the air to glide. Uh, if it can be shot through the whole freaking map, it's going to be overpowered. But we'll just see. But there is going to be a Kamehameha mythic. So if you have heard this and you got to this point in this video like i said say comment on me huh or it's over frieza and i will like or heart your comment so anyways guys please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys